Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Archives. In this video, I'll be showing you how to activate Verizon SIM card. Before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you activate your Verizon SIM card here. Well, activating your SIM card is actually pretty simple. So, in this case, you need to first download the My Verizon app or you need to access their official website here. So, alternatively, you can go to verizon.com. Now, when you reach the Verizon homepage here, ensure you're, you're in the personal category, so which you can select at the top of your page here. Now, in this case, uh, what we need to do next is we need to look for the sign in button at the top right here. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here on, we want to click on sign in to my account. Now, you need to enter user ID or your Verizon mobile number to access your account. Now, once you're signed in, you'll find an option to activate your or switch your SIM to a new device. So just follow the on-screen instructions to complete the activation. So unfortunately, I can't show you the exact steps on the screen as I currently don't have a registered Verizon number. However, this is the general process you'll follow on the My Verizon page here. So alternatively, uh, there is a way for you to activate your uh, or SIM, uh, SIM card here, especially if you have a eSIM. So this is actually an article from Verizon themselves. So, in this case, if you're using an iPhone, you can actually activate it by following the following steps here. So, in this case, you need to choose the line that you want to activate at the Activate a Device on existing line page in the My Verizon. Now, from then on, choose uh, the eSIM act to activate. So, in this case, for iPhone 10 to 13, use IMEI2 for eSIM. Now, for our for iPhone 14, choose the IMEI you want to activate. Now from there on, just follow the uh, prompts that you'll be seeing on your screen to activate your device. Now if you're an Android user or if you have an Android device, you need to contact to a customer service representative for you to activate your eSIM. Which in this case, you need to go to their support page or you need to visit an actual store for you to actually activate your, your actual SIM card. Remember, do not use the chat functionality here at the bottom right as they will not be able to help you. So either reach out to support here or visit a nearest store or the nearest store in your area. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.